Hi guys, my name is Shanda and today I'm going to show you how to do a rear reinforced ruck. Um, this is my little guy. I'm going to set him down real quick. Just for a second. Now I am using a size 5 woven wrap for this. Um, this is actually a Didymus anthracite diamonds. Um, it's 55% wool. So now for this, what you're going to do is actually take your middle marker and you're going to place it on the center of your baby's back. Excuse me, buddy. And we like to do what's called the Superman toss, so I actually have his back next to me. And I'm going to toss him over my shoulders just like that. Now the way I like to get a really deep seat, um, some people will tuck these rails underneath their chin. I actually hold on to them with my teeth just because I feel a little bit more secure that way. But you'll see me reach under his legs and pull the fabric up. And when I do that, I'm going to stand up just a little bit. And that's actually what's going to give it the nice deep seat. Now after I've done that, I've got him in his seat. I'm going to pull up both tails over my shoulder. Are you singing, little buddy? And what I'll do is I'll tuck one between my legs to start, and I'll work this one where I'm pulling strand by strand just to make sure it's nice and tight. Are you singing? Then we're going to pass this across his back, taking the outside rail. Once you've got it across his back, you're actually going to pull tight and then go under that leg. And you pull everything nice and tightly. And then you take this one and you actually tuck it between your legs. Now you're going to do the exact same thing with the opposite shoulder. So I'm going to kind of pull everything as tight as I can here. You want to make sure not to tighten too much on this uh, on this rail here because what it'll do is that'll actually pop his seat. But if you just want it to be nice and snug, and then you're going to pass this across to his back, pulling it nice and tight. And then you're going to go under this leg. So at this point you've created your ruck. Um, now you, you have a couple of different finishing options. Make sure he's nice and snug here. So with a ruck, you can then just tie off with a double knot. like that. Or another option for this would actually be to do what's called a Tibetan finish. And that's a knotless finish. So I'm going to tuck one of these back under my leg. I'm going to take this pass and spread it just a little bit over my chest. And then you're going to go over the ruck strap, around it and down. And just pull nice and tight. You're gonna do the same with the other strap or the other tail. It's gonna go over your ruck strap and then down and through. You give it a nice pull and then you can pass, uh, spread these passes out just a little bit. It'll make it a little bit more comfortable up underneath your arms. And then give it one final tug. And that is what's called a Tibetan finish. I actually prefer this when I do a ruck, and the reason I like that is just because it pulls the shoulders in a little bit. And uh, as you can see, that is what a rear reinforced ruck looks like. 